Hello, your doctor, nurse or pharmacist has suggested switching your anticoagulant from warfarin to a DOAC or direct oral anticoagulant. Both warfarin and DOACs are medicines which stop blood clots forming in your blood vessels. There are several reasons for switching to a DOAC. DOACs are just as good as warfarin at preventing strokes in people with atrial fibrillation. They are also just as good at treating and preventing blood clots in the legs or lungs. DOACs have a more predictable effect than warfarin. This means you can take the same dose every day. There is no need for regular INR monitoring with DOACs. You just need a blood test a few months after starting the treatment and then once every year to check your kidneys. This may be more frequent if you have chronic kidney disease or you're underweight. But overall, this means fewer trips to the surgery or clinic and fewer blood tests. Unlike warfarin, DOACs do not interact with food, so you can eat a wider range of foods. DOACs are a good option for people who struggle to keep their INR in range or who have had dangerously high INR readings. There are also some important things to consider with DOACs. DOACs are shorter acting than warfarin. This means their effect wears off more quickly. So it is important not to miss a dose. DOACs are not suitable for people with mechanical heart valves. Those who have had both atrial fibrillation and some types of heart valve disease and people with blood clotting disorders. DOACs still increase your risk of bleeding so you must get medical help if you start bleeding or are involved in an accident. Whilst DOACs do not interact with as many medicines as warfarin, you should still check with your pharmacist before starting any new medication. DOACs are taken either once or twice depending on which DOAC you are prescribed. If you decide to switch to a DOAC, you will be told when to stop taking your warfarin and when you should start taking the DOAC. This will depend on your INR reading. It is important that you do not take warfarin and a DOAC at the same time. If you have any questions, please speak to your GP, nurse, pharmacist or anticoagulation clinic.